Morning guys. Uh, this is Mr. Stark again and I wanted to go over the architectural scaling ruler. Now this is going to be a somewhat brief video because I realize we can't really scale anything due to the fact that we don't have prints. But we can see how the ruler works because a lot of guys are brand new and they really don't understand how to read a tape measure or to read a regular scaling ruler. So to start off, we know from yesterday that our prints have scales, and depending on the typical scale, we found yesterday we saw a quarter inch equals a foot. We saw three eighths equals a foot. I think we even saw on one spot uh, one inch equals 20 feet, and so on and so forth. So if you're used to using a regular ruler, if we take a look at this, you can clearly see that you would put your mark on the zero. This would be a quarter inch. This would be a half inch, this would be three quarter, and this would be one inch. We could do a lot with our tape measure from work, you know, our lab tape measure. We can do the same kind of scaling on the job by using this same function. But when we're trying to transfer this stuff over to the print, you'll see I kind of made up a generic example. And on this I put eight inches, that's this dimension, to this dimension. And because we're making our own prints, if we wanted to sort of scale that, we could make this whatever we want. We could make this a quarter inch equals a foot. <clears throat> and if we did that, we would clearly see that I'd have to find my scale that says quarter inch. It's not there. If I roll it around, uh, you look over here, three quarters equals a foot. That's not it. If you look over here, 3 eighths equals a foot. That's not it. If I flip this around, 3 inches equals a foot. Inch and a half equals a foot. None of those. 3 thirty seconds equals a foot. Not that. 3 sixteenths equals a foot. No, we're getting closer though. Here we are. So. On this left side, you'll see that eighth inch equals a foot. And if you read it from the right side, a quarter inch equals a foot. And let me get this little prop up so you can see this a little bit from a different angle. Now if I take this, and the way to properly read this when you put this up against your paper, is you start at the zero point. And they're showing you that from this dimension, this line to here, well, that's an eighth of an inch, but you got to start on your line on zero. And <clears throat> if I look, the numbers go up as I read from left to right. So this would be one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five, six, seven, eight eighths. So if I was to put that on my drawing, if I had uh, four of these, well, that would equal four feet. If eighth inch, if an eighth of an inch was one foot. How to read this in the other direction, if we're using a quarter inch scale, you can clearly see we have the quarter inch dimension from here to zero is a quarter of an inch. And I'm not I have to look across this for, for how this actually reads. This would be one quarter of an inch. And then there's your obviously half inch. So one, two, three, four feet. That's what that would be. If I went from here to here, if quarter inch was a foot, well, that's a quarter inch dimension. So this first space would be one foot, one foot. Two feet, three feet, four feet, five feet, six feet, seven feet, eight feet. So obviously we don't read numbers down, so you can't use the top numbers. So when you're using the quarter inch scale, you got to use the numbers that read in order going up. If I go to the other end, if I'm on the eighth inch scale, well these numbers go down. That's for the other scale. I got to read these, these numbers up here. Let's put this into plain action. So, by doing easy math, if I was used quarter inch equals a feet, 
equals one foot, excuse me, we know that there's four quarter inches in one inch. So that would be simple math. It would be eight times four, which would be 32 feet. So if that's true, I would take my quarter inch scale, let me turn this thing around, and I would put this zero edge, this edge has to be on the end of my line. There we are, there's the edge of the building or the edge of the wall. That's my starting point. And I'm gonna look down, there's one feet, two feet. Well at the very end, when I get all the way down to the end, my 32 foot mark should be right at the wall, just as it should be. Obviously if I use my eighth inch scale, I should have double that, I should have 64 because the eighth inch scale is a smaller scale and when I read from left to right I think we're looking at this probably hopefully it's kind of upside down but it's the only view I can give you uh, I'll flip it around hopefully this will help without being too much of an illusion uh, there's my zero mark and I know that there's eight eighths in an inch if there's eight eighths in an inch, and if I've got eight inches, it should be eight times eight is 64. So if I scroll all the way over, all the way to the other end, my 64 lines up at the end of the wall. So that would realistically be 64 feet if I was using an eighth inch scale. So you can kind of see how this goes. Uh, Kind of hard to show you this by, you know, the upside down scales. I hope this comes out pretty, pretty good for you to understand. And obviously know that, you know, if worse comes to worse, I'll show it to you this way. If my wall dimension is eight inches, we know we can expect to see eight on that side and zero on this side. And if I'm using an eighth inch scale, if I don't actually have a scaling ruler, I could certainly do this. I would count my eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighths. So eight eighths equals one inch. You could use your tape measure all day in the field. Uh, we do it all the time when we're trying to scale stuff and put conduit in the ground. Like that video that you saw, that video showed a bunch of four inch conduits. Those four inch conduits were scaled likely from a tape measure off a quarter inch or an eighth, eighth inch scale. So if we have any questions about this, we could certainly discuss this in the discussion room. All scales work the same way. I could show you the 3 sixteenths the same exact way. That dimension right there and shaded in gray is 3 sixteenths of an inch. And we have to just keep in mind when we're running from right to left, the numbers have to go up. So every 3 sixteenths would equal a foot. So that's kind of how we're looking at this. It's typically uh, that easy. You'll have an activity on this, and there'll be some more instruction on this with a PowerPoint. Uh, but that's it. See you at the next video.